I am Michael Lissack, the Executive Director of the Institute for the Study of Coherence and Emergence, or ICE, and this is Zeus, my boss. As co-founder of ICE in 1999, I have served as its only Executive Director. ICE was created as a 501c3 educational research institution comprising roughly 25 faculty members who sought to understand how complex change occurs in groups of all sizes. Our research has suggested that while direct attempts to cause change usually go astray, indirect attempts via tweaking the context in which behavior occurs far more often succeed. After spending 15 years writing about change, we realized that all we were doing was talking. So in 2015, we developed and implemented a plan to apply our theoretical insights to critical real world issues. Our research has always been centered on the idea that context matters. We chose safety as our target issue and realized that the context which mattered most was the context of the victim. We then created Empowering Victims to be the social action arm of ICE. At Empowering Victims, we are working to combat epidemic levels of sexual assault, domestic violence, and school age bullying. Our innovative technology aims to change the context through which victims see themselves and their lives. By empowering victims, we can help them restore their self-dignity and thereby change at least their world. Our smartphone apps began national rollout this fall. Our sexual assault domestic violence app allows victims greater control over their encounters with the authorities. Our anti-bullying app allows victims and their parents to take control of a non-violent encounter with their bully. Both apps are unique in their focus on the victim and in their goal of improving the victim's interactions with the world. Assault victims, for example, face especially difficult choices when attempting to report the trauma they experience. In fact, 85% of victims wait or do not report at all. By giving these victims a tool helpful to authorities, specifically a tamper-proof recording with a secure chain of custody, the victim has ready means to answer credibility questions and to avoid the brunt of a second trauma. The tool assures victims that their story will be protected and heard, all under their control. By removing the stress of tell now or risk humiliation, we empower victims to deal with their trauma on their terms. Empowering Victims, the organization, has reached a critical inflection point, the success of our national rollout. We know our apps can make an important difference in victim lives. We believe our participation in the Diana Davis Spencer Foundation Fellowship can not only help our nonprofit to grow, it can help us change and improve more victims' lives without delay. We thank you for your support.